Hey, how you doing? So, um, remember a couple of weeks ago, I started a conversation on nutrition? To be honest, the day I did that video completely the echo in my kitchen, I thought that maybe just nutritionists would be interested. And then you got on the case. You asked questions. You said, why are we not talking about this? And why are we not talking about that? No, no, no. So let me just tell you how this comes together. First and foremost, how are you? Are you good? You're looking after yourself. And now more than ever, as we get into the festive season, and you know, we kind of let our guard down. Please don't let your guard down on COVID-19, okay? So mask is imperative and sanitization, but you know what? The one that uh, really sorts out 99.9% .9 of germs, soap and water, yes. And then of course, drink water, stay healthy and maintain social distance, by the way, please. Eh? If you can get a link to an event, go to that one. I'm not kidding. But nutrition, I think there's a big, big role nutrition will play in this conversation. So back to my conversation um, about nutrition, the fact that we haven't talked about it and you respond and you ask a lot of questions. You're like, yes, there's a fitness training also that should be talked about. I was like, slow down. So Tetra Pak got in touch and said, you know what? We'd like to be part of that conversation. We'd like to see where you're going to take it, but we want to be part of that conversation. I was like, okay, challenge accepted. Obviously, a couple of nutritionists reached out. So I'll be actually putting the questions and issues you raised to them. Things like, oh, can she comment on keto diet? And can you comment on intermittent fasting? And can you comment on dairy and milk? And I'm like, OK, you have a lot of questions. I should charge you. This is now consultation. Um, and of course, somebody talk about Brussels sprouts, Paul Mugara. What do you want us to say about Brussels sprouts, my friend? No, because I don't ignore any comments, but really, 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 I couldn't believe you even typed that. But the fact that you even thought of talking about Brussels sprout means you're my friend. So here's where I'm at. I've already found a couple of nutritionists who I'm gonna sit down with, kind of, you know, get their feel, because it's important for me that I don't have a nutritionist who does, well, Caroline, you know, when the mitochondria does this, I cannot do that conversation. And I cannot do a conversation nutrition and diet that sounds so complex, we can't take anything from it. And then we'll go back to the cabbage soup diet. You know what I mean? So for me um, and to every nutritionist who has said, I'd like to be part of the conversation, please understand that I'm looking for a person I can have a conversation with, not an inquisition. And I don't want a lecture either. And I hope, and I think my audience agrees with me here. Um, to Tetra Pak, I, I hear you, I feel you. I, you know that I love what you do, but I need to figure out how we, you and I, get into that space where in the entire nutrition conversation, there's room for you to tell me about safe food and what really clean means and things like that. So Tetra Pak, you and I, we need to have our own sidebar. And then I don't want a conversation where the nutritionist says something and we all nod and then we don't know where to take the conversation from there. So my challenge now is to all the amazing people we see who have these platforms where they're cooking food and they put pictures on Instagram and we're all like, I want to do that. And then we realize it cannot be done with six to seven ingredients, so we give up. So I wrote a list of the people I want to see give us food that tastes good, looks good, and is good, okay? And it's Chef Ali, hi, how you doing? So challenge, okay. Uh, cooking with Jasmine, I checked you out and I would like to see what you can come up with. The challenge is food that looks good, that tastes good, that is good, okay? And then of course there's, there's Let's Cook Kenya. Um, so there might be more out there, you know, and I'm sure Miss Mandy is cross-eyeing me like chick na mimi, eh. You know what? The more of us showing each other how we can do great food, nutritious food, that does not need me to be a master chef, the better. So that's where I stand. I thought I'd give you an update. I do believe I will be with my first nutritionist in about five days. And like I said, I'm looking for a person who's going to spark something in our minds, spark something in our lives, and then spark something in our kitchens and on our plates. I'm also gonna ask whether it is okay for me to have at least four cups of coffee a day. I don't have one beyond, beyond 2 p.m. because otherwise I don't sleep. So I just needed to give you an update that yes, I heard you, yes, I read you, and yes, 
we're on. We're absolutely on, on the conversation on nutrition. A big, big thank you to every nutritionist who wrote in. Uh, to Tetra Pak reached out and said, let's do this. And uh, very soon, I'm hoping that every person who I admire that's got an amazing cooking platform is also going to be saying, we can do this, okay? Look after yourself. And yes, I know we're going into the festive season. Enjoy the final part of this year that has been challenging, but has also brought out, without a doubt, a new side to all of us. Take care, stay safe.